What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. So, we are over at the... Uh, what is this one called? Snowfield Bonfire. This is the first one we got. Um, and we're going to be heading this way this time instead. Actually, let's let's go through the middle first. We'll go through the middle, um, and then we'll swing our way around. Really, dude? So, 338... 236. Wanna clear the middle. I just gotta watch out for that snowy ledge. So I wanna actually do some tests here. It's 259. 236. So I fully expected fire to be doing a lot more. We'll try dark instead. Let's try it on these guys. 219. 160. Okay, so they definitely have some kind of resistance to dark going on. The weird bug-eyed people. Two sixty. Oh god. 191. Wow, so dark is going to do nothing to these guys. Uh, fire. Put that back on. Oh my god. I think that's the first time I've been fully hit by that. just disgustingly exposed, so you can die as punishment for that. Not sure how you just dead angled that onto me, but okay, we'll take it. Okay, and I think this is where the snow... Oh god, no, I'm not... Fuck, was not... Was not in uh, in dual wheel. Holy shit, dude! That guy almost just was like, "Nah, you're dead. Fuck off. You don't belong in this DLC." Okay, so that's the snow cliff that'll break. So we've officially covered the middle portion. Now let's go and work our way down. I don't trust any of these fucking trees anymore. There's another bonfire right here. Why is there a bonfire so soon into this area? No, this is... Damn it, that's the... Wait a minute. I literally just got turned the fuck around. Wow. Hang on a second. Let me just sprint through some shit here. How did I get turned around that badly? We're just gonna go straight. So there's that. No, that's the bonfire. How am I getting... Is this area really just that small? Let me just sprint around it real fast. No, that's the snow cliff, because there's the snowy item. So there was nothing. Man, I need to go pick up some fucking prism stones. I'm just losing my way because of the, the damn snow. Yeah, there's the original bonfire. So it looks like the actual path, this area is just really small. Because if I just crest this hill, there's the snow part that caves in. Huh. Well, that solves that mystery. There's just nothing there. Except more assholes. So instead, rope bridge cave it is. I 
guess we're continuing up into Spooky Tower. Batteries were showing low, too. I'm not sure how much longer I have on them, but I have a, a spare set of batteries, like, sitting next to me right now. I'm like, if you die, you were getting replaced so fast. Kind of nuts how easy it was to get misdirected walking around in that snow, though. Like, I fully thought there was, like, a whole other area that way. Okay, so at this point, we've explored everything that way. Um, oh, that's right, there's this. So let's go down here first before we take the rickety bridge and see where this leads. Um, there's a path there, or there's this way. Let's go this way first. Be wary of above. Oh. Shriving stone. They really blend in well. Good message. Titanite. Considering the difficulty of this DLC, the items that we're getting are kind of lackluster. Like, Large Titanite is the primary resource we found here. Get that shit out of here. I'm gonna go back to my washing pole, though. I really like parrying with the washing pole. Man, this reeks of like, you're gonna slide all the way down. Yep. Dark Souls, snowboarding mini game. Yeah, all right. Item. Dark Souls and Intrepid. Oh man, I do not like these ice looking cave areas. Um, that's. Ugh. I don't like that. I don't like the look of any of this. None of this looks like good. Oh, meowmers! The fuck? It's like a bird. kind of funny watching this. It's like, I want to get you, <laughs> but it can't reach. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust anything. Look at all these. Oh my god, those are decrepit looking. They're like weird crow bird people. Budding green blossom. We're just gonna, yep, we're just gonna arrow check every single one of these things. See, what sucks is if I have, hadn't played so much Dark Souls in the past, I probably would have just walked down there and started getting absolutely fucked up. But, like, all of my past experience with Dark Souls is like, oh, that's weird, there just happens to be a bunch of corpses laying around. It's probably gonna be some enemies. And, like, sure enough, like, somebody just dropping in there, you know they would get annihilated. We're gonna actually leave a message, like, be wary of corpse or something. Um, how do I even... It's been so long since I've done message. There we go. Message. Um, be wary of... Corpse. Corpses, 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 corpses. Yeah, 
Yeah, so they'll fight that first one, and then they'll be like, oh, I bet all of these are things. I think that's it. I want to get onto that thing, though. Dung pile. These things move so slow, maybe they weren't a threat. slowly approaching you for death. Like, put me out of my misery, please. Alright, this is back at the start. Oh, nice. I guess that's probably the message I just put down. So the question is, how do I get up to there? Oh, uh, it's probably a jump I have to pull off. Just a quick circle around just to make sure there's no, um... Yeah, I'm not getting up there. I gotta go this way. Oh, gosh. Asshole. Let's check this way first. Items, but I have to find something to get that gate up. How do I get onto the high ground? That's what I want to know. Oh, God. Calm down, Edward Scissor Hands. Holy shit! Those things are no joke. They're kind of like the, um, they're kind of like the Irithyll Knights, the Frost Knights that you kill, but they have black armor and claws instead. They do a lot of bleed damage. A lot of bleed. Not as much bleed as me, obviously, but still, a lot of bleed. Into the spooky house. be the other ash, I suppose. So there's another ash here. Oh. Oh, finally. That answers my one of my earlier Grant. questions. Oh, wondrous ash. Grant us our wish. Make the tales true. And burn this world away. My lady must see flame. And you have only to show her you are ash. The fire that you seek. Shut uh, that witch fool to the good father and buried the flame. After we had all made up our minds, too. So, make the tale of my lady. My oh, I am so terribly frightened. Oh, I am like those. Hmm. really tempted to kill him to see if he drops anything, but I don't want to go killing people just yet. Oh. If you can outright target him, though, it's a different story. Um, 
before we go into the weird city. Hey yo! That bonfire. Let's see what this area is called exactly. Corvian settlement. So these guys are Corvians then? Really want to get up there. Question is how? Because getting up there is. I also needed to get to that item. Um, maybe I can. What is this back here? Is the dude praying to? Looks like he was praying to this, whatever. Huh? weird. It doesn't clink off of it, so it's like fleshy. Um, damn it. Oh, fuck. Do I get up there, then? Do I take an upper path, eventually? No, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Go from over there. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's that thing again. Fuck, those things are brutal. Okay, let me go about this door. All these doors are locked. What the hell? Is the big dude again. Oh, he's killing all the Corvians, though. Well, let's check. Oh, wait. Is he coming for me? Oh, no. We're going to try and go around here. Because I think this is to the items that I was curious about. We'll go around and then we'll continue with the Corvian settlement in a second. Oh. What the hell? Stop it. There's the item we saw. Large soul of intrepid hero. Damn it, everything's a fucking soul. So apparently there's poison birds as well. There's my jump for the item. We'll do that in a moment. Let's see what's over this way. Another large Titanite. Boo. I feel like I could go... Like, jump and climb that, maybe? We're gonna... Tr well... Hmm. Yeah, let me try it real fast. So everything's gonna wake up now. Where are they at? No, 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 not the shrine, not the shrine, no! We're going to the shrine. Alright, so cut a little bit of the load out there, uh, just because I accidentally went to the wrong place. We're going to sprint through these nerds real fast, and we're going to get back and see what that item is uh, before we wrap this episode up. Ooh, there it is. There's my path. 
I really want like I feel like I could have made that jump. I feel like it was just a sloppy attempt, but I don't know, maybe not. Die in your poison. And what do we have here? Crow quills. What are those? Special thrusting sword. Thrusting sword wielded by Corvian knights. And a special paired weapon. When twin-handed, brandish four thin-edged blades in the left hand. And their infatuation with Sister Freed, the Corvian Knights swore to protect the painting from fire, and to this end took to the execution of their own brethren, Quildart, to simultaneously throw temporarily substantial illusion of the four thin edge blades wielded in the left hand. AC, no bleed built in, 130 critical? <laughs> Holy shit! Let's check this thing out. So it's considered a rapier. It's considered a rapier with claws. Oh, shit. Yo, check that out. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know all the edgelords are going to be excited about this thing. Claw into rapier combo? How does this thing not have... Oh, no, it does have... No, it doesn't. No bleed built in. It should have bleed built in. Should definitely have bleed built in. Let me see the full combo here. Alright, and the weapon art. So I think that's what the dude we were fighting is using. Either way, it's uh, definitely a really cool weapon. And the critical rate on that, oh boy. I'm going to need to play around with that more. Alright, so we'll wrap up here. Um, I'm going to hop back to that bonfire. And then we're going to tackle the second half of the, uh, the Corvian area in the next episode.